In this video, we'll be looking at Wickel or twisted traveling stitch patterns used in Estonian knitting that create the look of cable like patterns without the use of a cable needle. We'll be looking at creating twist, twisted traveling stitches over two knit stitches to create left leaning and right leaning stitches. So let's get started. I'm going to start off by showing you how to do the one by one right twist. It's going to create a right leaning twisted stitch. I'll first show you how to do this continental style and then English throwing style. What we're going to do first is insert our right needle into the first two stitches to do a knit two together. Go in through both stitches, grab our yarn, and pull through to do a knit two together. Now I'm going to leave the two stitches on my left needle there because now I'm gonna go back and work one of those stitches a second time. So on my right needle, I have the stitch that I've made from that knit two together and I've left the two stitches on the left needle. Now I'm gonna take my right needle and go through the first stitch on the left needle and knit that stitch. So insert and knit, pull through. So now I've got two stitches on my right needle, two stitches on my left. I'm now gonna drop those two first stitches on the left needle, just slide them off. And that is my twist. And what you'll notice is it's now got a slight twist to it. So it's slanting to the right. So essentially what was the second stitch on my left needle is slanting over or crossing over the first stitch. So kind of like a mini cable. So now we're going to do the one by one right twist English throwing style. So we're going to insert our right needle into the first two stitches on the left needle to do a knit two together. So knit those two stitches together and we're going to leave the two stitches on the left needle and we've got the stitch we've made from that knit two together on the right needle. I'm now going to go back and knit the first stitch on the left needle. So that stitch will have been worked twice. So insert as if to knit, wrap around and pull that through. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to slide both stitches. So both of those first two stitches on the left needle off and I can tighten and I should see that I've got a nice right leaning twist. We're now going to do the one by one left twist starting continental style and then switching to English throwing style. I'm going to take my right needle and insert it into the second stitch through the back loop. So if I lift this up, I'm going to go through the back loop of my stitch, grab my yarn and I'm gonna pull that through to knit through the back loop of that second stitch on my left needle. Now I'm going to knit the first stitch on the left needle through the front loop like a normal knit stitch. Pull that through. Once I've knit this, the first stitch on the left needle, I'm going to slide the first two stitches off. So the two stitches that have been worked. So starting with the second stitch, working it through the back loop and then the first stitch, knitting it through the front loop. Slide those off, tighten. And what you should see is a mirror image of the right twist. So you have a stitch leaning to the left. So we've switched our stitch positions without a cable needle. So the first stitch, what we'll call the first stitch, is crossing over the second stitch slanting to the left. Now we're going to do the one by one left twist 
English throwing style. It follows the same movements as the continental style, just with the yarn in the right hand. Again, I'm going to take my right needle and I'm going to insert it into the second stitch on my left needle through the back loop. Twist this up for you to see. I'm going to take my right needle, go into that second stitch through the back loop, wrap my yarn around to pull through to knit it through the back loop like so. Now I'm going to work the first stitch on my left needle as a knit stitch. So go through the front loop knit wise in, wrap my yarn around, pull through to knit. Once I have worked that first stitch knitting it, I'm going to slide the first two stitches on the left needle off, which have been worked like so. And what you should see on the right needle is that left slanting stitch. So our stitches are crossing over each other. So you get a slant to the left like a little cable.